finally here. Oh my gosh, the most anticipated thing I have ever had on this channel has finally landed after years of waiting. The second video I did when I started this reaction channel was Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. And finally, after waiting my entire career, the TV show has landed. Either six or seven brand new episodes and not just small shorts we're talking about episodes i am immensely excited about this and you have no idea how happy i am for the creators of the show to be able to get recognition and be able to put their content on a television show and make a way to make oodles and oodles of cash off of this fantastic franchise which is kind of hilarious because it then becomes what it was parodying but that's okay because I'm no snitch. Of course, folks, if you like to check out the original video, you can find it on Channel 4. Wait, I should really preference that's not actually Channel 4 on the television, but Channel 4 the the website, which I've never heard of. I think what happened was they got put on a British streaming website or something like that. I'm not 100% sure, but it certainly is the website, www.channel4.com. I also thought it was on the Amazon one, but I now can't find anything about it, so I'm not 100% sure, but I can guarantee the first one. Oh, what a fucking beautiful intro. All oh, this reminds you of like old style cartoons, like when it has a nice animated house, and except it's probably going to be filled with horrors of. There's three of us. There's three of us. Look closely. Ah! There are three of us again! Us. Yes! The boys are back in town! Also, because we beat the living shit out of the last guys, they tried to replace us, but we didn't like it, so we gave them the old one, two, buckle my shoe. You know what I'm talking about, boys. One of those. Not today, blue bitch. Though it is weird to see this right after, because technically, is this considered season two in the original ones or season one? I'm not really sure, because I've seen this one be called season one. Is that like the prequel? Is this going to be before everything that happened or is this going to be i don't know i have no idea it's very weird that like the ending was them like leaving and you know they big time dead so i this might be a prequel or it might just be the weird artistic design i don't know we're gonna find out and i'm the one that's over here and i'm the one that's over here <laughs> Poor bird guy got completely forgot about the cameraman. It's like, oh shoot, there's more to this song. Oh no. Guys, you wrote in the script two of us. Who's this guy? This fucking prima donna coming in, ruining everything. I see the egg. I don't trust that guy. He looks like he could be a whale or dish soap. It's morning. Huh. I guess we stayed up all night talking again. <laughs> talking about what? All the horrible things that's happened in the past. Like well, having an office do? job. Um, I'm gonna barf. I'm I gonna barf. Know what's meant to happen today. Right, yeah. Let me check the schedule. Uh. Oh. oh. Says here we don't have anything planned. Says we're doing nothing. What? Guys, if anyone tells you that the only way to make something new and good is they have to copy the past. They're full of shit. Because did you just see the creativity in just put... He, they literally could just put a screen, like him putting on it. But no, the whole thing was beautifully animated. Oh my gosh, I'm going to be whacking off of this whole show. This is not good. I got I got I got to pick my spots. But that was amazing. I am floored by the level of animation that they put into this show. I realize now it's got a budget, right? But they literally thought to themselves, "Let's do stop motion for no reason just to add it in there because that is the level of artistic design that I absolutely applaud." Nothing. Nothing at all. That's what it says on the schedule. <laughs> We need to do something, especially me. Honestly, I don't mind it. How about Why, especially you? If you, like, sit still, still will you start stabbing? Only dull people think things are dull. What? <laughs> are you having a flashback? This one. What do you think we should do? Oh, my. <laughs> oh, shit. I'd better get going. Who is this? 
Why didn't we get breakfast? <laughs> I certainly wouldn't want to be late for my job, would I? Um, probably not. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I find that highly offensive. That was a duck egg. Cheerio then. <laughs> Did I eat it or keep it for later? You'll never know. Almost forgot my briefcase. <laughs> this is where I put my stomach. Those guys who has one of himself. Hey, where are you going? To my job, of course. I've got a million things to do today. A million things. Are you? Wow. Hmm. Sounds stressful. Not at all. There's my answer. There's my answer right there. I just saw it. June 20th. This isn't the future. Can't be in the past. The last episode ended with 19 dropping and 20 being up there. So, uh, there it is. Right there. How many times do you think I could pause? He's still pondering. Sorry, I just realized. He's, he's, pondering. he's, he's still thinking about hammer time. In fact... You feel like an angel. <laughs> Whoa! Wow! On my shoulder. <laughs> that's not a job. That's a welt. <laughs> no! I'm afraid. No, we don't. We're not doing anything. Yeah, my welts don't become friends. Job. I'm sad. Yeah. Steady on there, friend. You need to find I'll tell you, we would look at cancer yeah. differently if it was well, like, Hey man, you want to play some Nintendo 64? Yeah, you can be yeah. You want to I do. do. It's totally up to you. Even if you don't know what to do. They do look pretty dapper. I like how the one thing that feels like it got updated the most is their suit and tie game. <laughs> They're like, guys, we got a budget now. What should we do? Fancy outfits for the puppets. Yes! You can be the one who kicks so hard at a I don't, I don't like having shorts on. It makes me uncomfortable. It's too close to being naked. <laughs> did you say porny? What did you say? What did? Oh, we gotta go back. I gotta find out what word he just said. People better when they're porny. <laughs> what does porny mean? Why do you need to poke his brain when they're porny? What does porny mean? Why have you fused the words porn and horny together? Am I just not hearing this right? Is this a British thing? Is this a British thing? Don't forget what they called cigarettes. Don't trust those Brits. They're out of control with their words. Maybe I could be the one who plants a tree, cuts it down to make a shed. And I will invent a digital currency based on the <laughs> <laughs> I would really prefer to do as little as possible or nothing at all. Hey, good thing your schedule's set up well, perfectly for that. Sit around all day. A great big guy like you. He's not that big. Okay, <laughs> I get it. So you want to be like my brother, unemployed Brendan. Take it away, Brendan. <laughs> Oh, you don't want to end up like me. Oh, I'm very shameful and upset. My brother is quite successful and perfect, even though I'm older than him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. Oh, no, come on. That was good. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> going, unemployed Brendan. Why can't you just call me Brendan? My name is Brendan. Oh, don't be like that. This isn't fair. Oh! Ow! Oh! My hand! <laughs> what did you say to me? Is your hand or what? Are you going to publish my novel? <laughs> All right, hold on, hold on, Brad. Calm down, Brad. And Brad, you're acting nuts. You're acting like me on stream. Brad, I got to ask you. Is your brother paying you for this bit? Because if that's the case, that means our boy is employed. I'm putting him up on the tier list. He's going up on the tier list. Brandon, number one character. Very relatable. Like it. I will read and publish his script myself with the Hobo Ryan Sexaporium money. I could be the one who tells all the soldiers to stand up straight. Attention. I could be the one who drives a I didn't realize America was run by a duck now. Yum, yum. Have one. <laughs> I don't trust him. So it looks smart. Looks dumb. <laughs> 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 well, he did his job. He's bald now. There's nothing in it. <laughs> we couldn't, we couldn't, couldn't have the budget. The we budget. We spent it all on the fucking nothing thing. Oh, you could be the guys who work as a team in the workplace. Jobs. Oh, you could be the ones who dig a hole. Go. Red guy. I'm 
scared. He's doing a basic gay joke. So I think the phone's ringing. You need to be more aggressive. That's how you get ahead in the workplace. Right, guys, don't pick up the phone. Don't pick up the phone. Last time that happened, things went a little, little wonky. You're going to freaking send yourself out into outer space again. Attention, freaks. It's <laughs> going to be starting our new job any moment. How do we get out of here and away from the <laughs> I'm so triggered by him being called a freak. He's going to fucking... He's not going to be okay from this. How strange. But You're pretending they don't respect me. <laughs> <laughs> But isn't anyone gonna get that? Can he only Don't hear it? Too close to them. <laughs> what happened to you, duck guy? Why'd you get so cocky since last time? You fucking start an army and this is what you become? Uh, hello, you're through to uh, oh. Petersons and Sons and <laughs> Friends Bits <laughs> and Parts Limited. <laughs> huh. That's how they got all the money to make the show. What are you doing? We're making bits and parts. Although sometimes oh. I feel a bit like the parts are making me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> You're such a silly little robot. <laughs> Do we even have souls? I'm having an existential crisis. Good job, teammate. That's what I call a quality product. I'm not used to being complimented. On my show, they just slap me around and send me into a bed of goo. Sorry, I'm just at work. What? What are you doing? I'm making bits and parts. Although sometimes I feel a bit like the bits and parts are making me. <laughs> <laughs> Here, let me have a go. No! <laughs> what? Oh dear. <laughs> oh! Hey. You know he's right. I do feel like the bits and bobs myself. Also, in Yellow Guy's defense, literally, he's been working on a show where random things happen, so it doesn't surprise me that he's just like, I guess I'm doing this now. Are you happy, Dad? <laughs> I'll take that as a no. I think Duncan's looking for you. Duncan's in charge of the website. Look, he's working on the website <laughs> now. Oh, no. Duncan. Watch out, that guy's a visionary. He's gonna be the guy who made Dunkin' Donuts. Just you wait. That's not a website. <laughs> the website's under construction. I don't see you fucking making it, you <laughs> son of a bitch. You don't want to have an accident. They're more common than you think. <laughs> what about me? I broke all my arms and legs. These are all replacements. Danger boxes. <laughs> I like the vending machine's nose. I'm a sucker for a good snoot. What does your hat accomplish? Tiny marbles that may land on it? Those are some... Oh wait, they're robots. Of course they would eat them well. Stop it! Yeah, I don't actually work here. Bye. Duck Guy may have evolved and transcended into my favorite character. Uh, I don't think I am. Most people say. I think you are, and you've got such a beautiful telephone voice. If I may say so myself. <laughs> oh, thanks. That's very kind. Actually. Thank you. Why don't you sit down? Oh! Comfortable. Uh, Oof, I've got a fax coming through for you. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Is this technically sexual harassment? Do I have to take this to HR? I don't care what you are. If you grab me and put me in a chair and give me a note that says, you're doing great, I like you. Somebody's getting married. And I'm gonna have sex with that fax machine. Hi there, how are you? How 
How is your child? Good, thanks. I like my child. But not it's amazing not how much the comedy has I'm risen. Here. So high! Like, it used to be, like, you know, freaked out, like it was in the era. I thought I was supposed to invent a digital currency. <laughs> in the digital mind! What's he saying in there? What's he walking around for? Is he lost? Hey, come on, let's not talk about work over lunch. Don't even talk to Claire until she's had her lasagna. <laughs> Garfield just slits her throat. Hey, Mondays. <laughs> <laughs> Garfield! <laughs> I'm really happy with the level of comedy that has been added throughout this so far. These jokes have really got me good. Like, the first ones, they were in the, the space of comedy, but more of it was, you know, it was more about the shock factor and the mystery. Like, there was some comedy, but I would say it was on the low end. They really upped it. These, these episodes legitimately have hit me right in the funny bone. Stop forming a bond with them. Let's go. <laughs> If you're going, can I have your lasagna? Get <laughs> away from me, Duncan. No. <laughs> I saw your brain and I can't get it out. How are you? Get away! Your child. Good, thank you. You don't have a child. <laughs> you are the child. Coming up. And don't forget your hot black water on the house. Oh, oh thanks, buddy! Lunch. Thanks, man. I love your oh, snot you. oil. Really Sorry, lubricates like the old joints. Nobody else had tokens. Don't mm. worry, you can still get a meal from the free vending machine. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! It's gonna be. Oh! <laughs> Napter? What can I get you? <laughs> um, do you have the lasagna? Yeah. <laughs> By the way, if you want to know, the other vending machine was just racist. Oh! Oh, oh my god! Actually, that's too much. No, no, I can't help you. I don't work here. It's gonna be okay, okay Napter. Bye. It's gonna be okay. Bye! <laughs> Hello to you. I really liked what you did at the end there. What was that? Yeah. Uh, I guess I kind of. I, yelled, I don't actually know what it is. It's, like, it's never happened before. It's even more of it. Is it? Uh, I should probably get going now. Sounds like it's lunchtime. Oh, you don't have to get your own lunch. We've got it here for you. Look, it's salmon with diamonds. Oh, I don't know if you can eat diamonds. Can you eat diamonds? Oh, we'll just get something else. Well, don't throw it away. <laughs> <laughs> There's edible gold for thousands of dollars and people eat it. I don't think it tastes like anything. It literally is just because people's penises are so small that they need to eat gold. Rich people are dumb. Have I ever told you that? Rich people are really dumb. Like, they, they may they may have problems. Like, they've got all this money, and they're spending on literal, like, crispy gold on their thing that's just, like, food dye. What is wrong with you? Stop it. Also, I wonder if this is going to be connected, because if you remember, he picked up the phone, right? Then he went to his office space, right, in the in the last episode. I wonder if somehow he's moved up the rung and is now at the top of the company instead of being on the bottom. He moved his way up the second he picked up the phone again. Very interesting. I don't know if there's just symbolism or, you know, there's absolutely nothing there at all. But uh, I'd be really curious to put this all together at the end. Well, I was going to put it in the bin, shouldn't I? Don't do it <laughs> Make the bin do it. He's pathetic. Yes, sir. Hey! Sir, why is he calling me sir? Because why is his eyeballs attached to what he's putting you away? Are. You're upper management, yeah. look. Am I? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> it means you can do anything you want. Huh. Great. You could even fire somebody if you like. Yeah. Fire somebody. Fire somebody. Hey, hey, hey. You don't have to fire someone. But it's the kind of thing Mr. Peterson would do. Fire somebody. <laughs> Jordan Peterson? Okay, oh, no. Kill him. Fire Is that Peterson with a gun? Oh, shit. Commercial break time. Okay, commercial break. We're back. So, you're a new employee here at Peterson's and Sons and Friends Bits and Parts Limited. I've been kidnapped. I imagine you've probably been thinking a bit about what parts Robots don't like play. ducks. Like a sporting team or the army, our business runs on something called... <laughs> Am I in time the out? Manufacturing team. Hello. To the big brains in upper management. Hey, gotta give them credit. They really edited this video quick. To play. Even Duncan on the website. <laughs> 
Health and safety. First things first, we are well aware of our reputation. <laughs> health and safety is important to us in our own special way. What? What does that even mean? What that means is that at some point we will have an accident, and that is <laughs> because we God throws wrenches at what he hates. And he hates robots. Being burnt in a grease fire or mangled in a piece of machinery. I mean, to be fair, it actually does Thanks happen a lot of these kind of jobs. And if you're still having trouble fitting Who's in, in charge around here? That's it. Like he says that at a TV that's like about to fall over on him as he speaks. There's something very uncomfortable about seeing his legs move, even that though I know he's a human. Do you have an appointment? That's it. I've had enough of this place. What do you want? I'm busy. Busy? What are you talking about? You've only been here for nine minutes. <laughs> 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 Don't say that. He looks smart. It's smart. No. Just toes only. <laughs> he gave me a bow tie. That's what? why I no. like him. <laughs> this is a laminated tag. <laughs> the lanyard itself is the fabric for stooning it. I thought everyone knew what that. What have they done to you? Of course. Look, I told you I'm busy. If you're having trouble fitting in, then maybe you should book in a session with the care hound. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't trust the care hound. He cares important too much. Work. What are you talking about? Nobody here does anything at all. All they do is turn bits into parts. Hey, he can't talk to you like that. Yeah, you're just jealous because I'm actually good at it. And I look like a smart boy in my outfit. <laughs> <laughs> all you do is pick up the phone. Anyone can do that. What are you doing? Do that. So you did in the last show too. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> he can't do that! Quick, show him who's boss! He's slapping my ass. Here, take your things. Take a things. I'm afraid I'm letting you go. <gasps> letting me go from what? <laughs> I wish I had a song that would tell me how to pee. I don't know how to pee. Oh, hello. <laughs> right. Working hard or hardly working, hey? <laughs> you didn't wash your hands. Yeah, so what? I don't have hands, I have mitts. Anyway, back to the grindstone, hey? You don't have to clean mitts. Don't you know anything? What do you think it means to have a job? Some people think it's just something you do between breakfast and dinner, but not <laughs> me. Whatever it is. <laughs> I'm going with him. Hey man. As soon as they oh. can. Oh. If you're about to overflow, please hang up and you're having trouble coping at work, please ring the below number. Or the above number. <laughs> or the diagonal number. I love the diagonal number. Hi there. How was your day today at Peterson's and Sons and Friends? Bits and Parts Limited. Not good. I don't let go. Please answer by selecting a member of the Emotion family. <laughs> what? Are these cookies? Are these emotions? <laughs> Pick. <laughs> He's like, this isn't Humber. With stress. I'm not stressed. I'm unemployed. I understand. <laughs> we all feel a bit lost. Sometimes. Looks Perhaps like you're a you Brandon. We just need to deal with your attitude. I see that you're oh, no. I you Maybe you need a break. Dude, what does this look like? It looks like this game that I played. Whoa! <laughs> No, I don't want to do drugs. Listen, I'll be honest. I, I haven't actually worked at a company, but I didn't know they just give you straight up drugs. Oh, dude, you just have to go to hell, bud. I found it. Try to imagine all your thoughts are squeezed inside a cube, and the cube is in a garden. You know, I'm starting to think that these artsy fartsy creators are trying to tell me something about jobs here. Probably that they're pretty great. You see his suit? Wow, that's a great suit. And the cube is actually you. I'm not a cube. Ha 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 
dude, you have no idea how much I love that statement right there. Do you know how many times I hear like somebody trying to be philosophical and it means absolutely nothing? They're just trying to make themselves seem smart. Um, just whisper your complaints very quietly into the mouth of the care hound. <laughs> it's not his butt, is it? It's not one of them pranks. Whoa! Again? This poor boy is gonna get eaten again. Oh! Oh, he's okay. There you are. <laughs> so, how are you feeling? I would like to go to HR, please. I feel like I'd better get back to work. That's all I need to get a job. I just gotta be gooped up by a dog, and I'm just like, hey, you know what? I've got my positivity back. I don't have crippling depression anymore. Is that what therapy's like? You just get gobbled by a dog? I'm part of the team. But you really should not be eating that snoot. <laughs> You're a cheeky guy, too. You'll fit right in. What's all this? It's the retirement party. Sign the card. Rumor has it, even Mr. Peterson's going to do a speech. Wow, Mr. Peterson. I like the sound of that. Oh, here he comes. <coughs> what the hell? Hello, employees. As you know, I've been in upper management for a long, long time. Oh, Doing that's Peterson. But today isn't all about me. That's it's about another hmm. guy. Somebody who has been what the hell? hard or hardly working here for many years now. So let's all... <laughs> <laughs> I look like one of the grumpy Muppets. I'm going to go heckle Tom Segura now. Dude, that's some nightmare shit right there. The idea that, like, you're in a job, you start the job, and then, like, you're just, like, you realize you're in the future. Oh, man. Oh, boy. I mean, I think the symbolism's pretty simple. I thought for a second that it was, like, we find out that this is his dad or, um, <laughs> or, like, the secretly Peterson was trying to take him to make him do a job. But no, that is Red Guy. Red Guy is Peterson. So essentially it's symbolizing how when you do a tedious job that does like nothing and it's just the same thing over and over again and it's a simple task, how life can literally zoom by in a blink of an eye because you're doing this, the same thing over and over again. And before you know it, everything's gone. What feels like nine minutes could be 40 years. That being said, he's a bit of a gray fox. Hey, you should be happy, Duckman. You just like went through time travel and came out unscathed. He took off the little hat on her and stuck his penaline in it. Oh, oh, please stop twisting his nipples with your little fucking screw hand. It's not a screw, right? <laughs> it's the most disturbing thing he's ever seen in his life. Oh! No! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh! Wow, that's a lot in his hand. Oh, where's the blood coming from? He not being in an accident. Good plan, good plan, good plan. I appreciate the plan. Of course, the box. Oh my God, he was right. <laughs> <laughs> that is genius. That is a genius long term joke. I just really don't want to do bits, alright? 
my child. Oh, <laughs> my lanyard. <laughs> and my weight gain. Well, <laughs> better be off. Come I've on, got Brandon. a fetish Thank for wrenches now. Wait, what was all of that? All of that stuff that we just did. What was it all for? <laughs> oh, yes, I almost forgot. You've earned this. Oh, the token. Dude, whoa, that is. Don't swallow it by accident. Oh! Got it. This was absolutely amazing. I cannot put in words how much I enjoyed every second of that episode. The jokes were a 10. The production itself, a 10. The horror, 10. Like, the gruesomeness that, you know, Don't Hug Me A Squared is, is known for was great. It's not just, like, the hand getting blended up, right? Uh, which, by the way, is a real thing that happens a lot. People get caught in their clothes and it just goes... And just... Oh, 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 oh. Everything about this show is absolute, pristine, perfect content. This is everything I wanted and more from Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. The song is also... The song was really good, too. It's very catchy. It fit the, the theme of the show perfectly and by the way don't think i didn't notice he lost his hand on the sticky note at the very beginning because i was gonna make a joke about it but i didn't but i put it in the old think box which means it was all connected there's little easter eggs everywhere it's once again one of the shows that you can pause many times and see all the different little things oh i almost forgot to talk about the horror it wasn't just about the hand the like take it off the hat and the brain like that thing and the little like monster that came out of the tools Fantastic. Also, the symbolism. Dude, they had everything in this show. Oh my gosh, this is everything I could have asked for. Now, it wasn't like an emotional zinger, right? It wasn't anything that made me ask questions and try to figure out stuff, right? Like the other ones. But you have a perfect package of an episode. And I adore this. Thank you creators of don't hug me i'm scared you have created a masterpiece again and there's still five more to go and i have a feeling you'll probably knock it out of the ballpark again i could talk about this for ages i could do this frame by frame i could do it scene by scene this was amazing i am so glad they were able to get a budget to do this to do like little scenes and the way they animated it because there's things that look like like a simple scene like for instance remember i talked about uh the pda that, because it was frame by frame, you could tell, would take forever, but it looks amazing. There is not many shows in the world that I see and go, this is art. The purest form of art. Everything that is great about art is in this episode. It was in the last ones, and it is in this one, too. Fantastic. I cannot sing the praises enough. Please, folks, go watch all the episodes before you watch any of these. I hope these videos do not get uh, copyright struck, uh, because these are works of art. Thank you, creators of Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. I'm happy you are able to make these. You made a masterpiece, even on the first episode. Even if it's downhill from here, I enjoyed this. Especially seeing the whole thing was literally just a punchline to a joke that they were stuck in the song and they had to figure out the next part of the song. Beautiful. Also, poor Birdman. He just keeps getting eaten by the system. Oh, that's what it is, isn't it? He got eaten up by the system. And then he got into the system. Yellow guy is a guy that would easily fit in the job because he's somebody who's like simple minded and would fit like into any job and just mimic. Have you noticed he mimicked the characters that were teaching him? So because he wanted them to accept him. So he would fit in the job and fall into the spot and would fall into the job like that. Right. Red guy. As soon as he gets a bit of power, he goes zooming at the top because he had his last job from the other episodes. So he already knows mediocre and being bottom. He wanted that power to be at the top. So that's what got into Red Guy's head. But Duck Guy, he is a duck and ducks don't work. So he didn't know what to do. Oh boy, I cannot wait to watch the rest of it. Thank you. Just thank you. Thank you for making this. Thank you for bringing me such joy. It was worth the wait. I am very happy to see it. I absolutely hope, pray that they get more. I hope this is a continuous series. They are 
truly amazing at making this art. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoy, remember to subscribe, leave a like down below, and write a comment about this episode. Did I miss anything? Is there anything else that you've noticed with the symbolism or something in the background I missed? I want to hear it. I want to hear it, folks. Also, seeing I'm going to be doing this in a series, we're going to do this like the old Ruby. If there is something that you bring up that I find interesting, I will bring up the comment at the end of the next video. Unless these videos are too long. Who knows? I don't know how long these videos are. I have a feeling a lot because I like, I, I want to add a lot of commentary to the uh, series because I'm enjoying it so much. Anyways, folks, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, everyone.